Chaos theory, summarized in one sentence, would be that small changes can have big effects. To start off, let's look at a non-chaotic system. Here we have an astronaut throw an apple as hard as he can. Now physics can predict exactly how that apple travels, which in this case is an orbit around the Earth. Then his friend comes over and throws another apple, which ends up in a very similar orbit to the first. Now we say that this system is predictable. To turn this into a chaotic system, all we need to do is add in an extra gravitational body, say the moon. This is called the three body problem, and what we see is that even though the two apples start off really close to each other, they end up diverging at some point and heading in completely different directions. A simpler example to illustrate this dependence on initial states is that of a raindrop falling on a mountain. If it hits the right hand side of the mountain, it trickles down and harmlessly hits a hiker in the face. If it happens to fall just a few millimetres to the left however, it will take a completely different path down the other side of the mountain, dislodging a boulder which then activates an old fault line, triggering a disastrous volcanic eruption. A more famous, but no less dramatic example, is the butterfly effect, whereby a butterfly flapping its wings in South Africa could conceivably lead to a chain reaction of events culminating in a hurricane in America. At this point I'd like to emphasize one thing. Chaos is deterministic, meaning that it has nothing to do with randomness. If you start at point A, you're guaranteed to end at point B. What chaos theory does say, however, is that if you start anywhere but A, even if you're really close to A, you could end up a long, long way from your original ending point. And the only way to know where you end up is by knowing where you start exactly. Even if your measurements are 99% accurate, you won't get it. If they're 99.99999% accurate, your prediction will still diverge at some point. Chaos theory dictates that you need to know your starting point exactly in order to get the ending point. And unfortunately, this is an impossible task. This explains why weather forecasting is so difficult and rarely accurate. But what else can we learn from chaos theory? Well, for a start, it explains heaps about nature, from planetary interactions to the motions of schools of fish. It is also used extensively in the field of economics to find patterns in the stock market. Chaotic models are also used in cryptography to produce powerful codes for communication. Even microwave ovens make use of chaos theory to defrost your food. Chaos is all around us, but far from being something messy or ugly, it is simple, beautiful and a powerful tool.